One day, the mighty eagle flew to his nest. All he wanted to do was rest. He felt bitter, he felt cold. He was really getting old. He knew he needed someplace new. So, off to Mr. Fox he flew. Mr. Eagle, you look so tired. Please, come in. Thank you, Mr. Fox. Now tell me, how may I help you? Mr. Fox, I spent years in prosperity and glory, but I'm old now and tired. I can't live out there alone. In that cold weather, where do you live, Mr. Eagle? By the mountain top. Hmm, I see. The wind is strong there. I bet you catch a flu every now and then. Well, I didn't used to, but that's all in the past. Now I'm old and weary. I'm not what I used to be. Plus, I get so lonely up there. There is no one around to talk to. And no one to help me get better if I get sick. Why don't you come and live with us in the jungle? I looked around, but I couldn't find the right place for my huge nest. I'm too old to build a new one, and I can't really stay in someone's home. Mr. Fox kept thinking for a while. What could he do to help his dear old friend? I got it! I think I can help you build a new house. Have no worries. Mr. Fox quickly grabbed his toolbox and hopped into his car. He drove through the jungle while Mr. Eagle flew above him. He stopped in front of a tree that looked both old and firm, right in the middle of the jungle. Lots of animals and birds lived around here. What a beautiful place, Mr. Fox. Wait till you see what I have in mind for you. Mr. Fox started to work. He put a ladder against the tree and counted the steps up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. When he reached the tree branches, he opened his toolbox and took out some wooden plates. Then, he started putting them together. All I need now is some nails to make sure everything would be A-OK. -okay. We're almost done, Mr. Eagle. Can't wait to see what it will look like, Mr. Fox. Oh, my! What a wonderful treehouse! And it's all yours, Mr. Eagle. My own home. I can't believe it. Thank you so much, Mr. Fox. You're most welcome. As Mr. Eagle got inside his new house and closed the door, he felt a happiness like never before. He knew Mr. Fox's idea was truly the best. For there was comfort, there was warmth. He felt really blessed.